Alright everybody, welcome back. Now we're going to be talking in this video about crossovers. You've gotten used to moving the ropes side to side with your side swipes. You've got all your basic three bounces down, that's fantastic. You've got your side straddle and your forward straddle, awesome. Now what you need to do is make sure you cross the rope in front of you and pull it back in the crossover. So grab your jump rope, make sure you got your timer and some water, and we are about to get jumping. Oh. Okay, so before we even go into the crossover, we're just going to start with a basic setup. So we always want to make sure that the body is standing nice and tall over the jump posture, head over the shoulders, head back, make sure everything's lined up nice and over the hips, everybody's having a good time. So crossing over, first thing you need to do is actually hold the rope behind you, make sure it's at your knees, facing forward, so you're going to bring it over and cross the hands in front. Step over the rope and pull this way, okay? And again, do that one more time. So rope is behind the knees, keeping the tension, bring it over, cross in front, step over, bring the rope over. Okay, try that about five times. Cross the rope over, step over it, pull the rope over. A couple more times, cross it, step, and pull. What you're gonna notice is as you pull the rope to the side right here, boom, the handle ends where the rope attaches are outside of my center mass. So outside of where my body is, basically. That is gonna reduce the amount of times it will actually hit my feet or my legs and impede the progress of the rope moving forwards for repeated crossovers or even just basic jumping. Stepping over and pulling over and pulling apart. So how do we work this into a circuit? We're gonna do four bounce steps and one attempted crossover. Whether you make it or not, that's okay. Once you get one, you're gonna work on two, then three, and get up to four. So we go back to our four by four standard, yeah? All right, so first, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, cross, and stop. Okay, this time, we're gonna try and go for two. If you were successful getting one, we're gonna make sure there's two consecutive crossovers. One, two, three, four, one, two, and stop. Fantastic. Okay, let's try three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, stop. All right, one more time, we're going to get four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and stop. What you also notice is that I'm crossing my hands right over left and left over right. I do encourage you to get comfortable with doing it both with your dominant hand, if you're right-handed, right over left, and then left over right. It makes it easier when you move into other combos because you can enter and exit skills from the left and the right consecutively. Okay, it makes it nice and smooth. It opens up a lot more doors for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our timer on for 30 seconds of work. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your timer on for 30 seconds of work and 12 second breaks. In those 12 seconds, you really wanna catch your breath, kick out the feet a little bit, don't worry about jumping over the rope at all, and then you jump back in for the 30 seconds. So the protocol is we're always going to do four bounce steps. One, two, three, four. From the start, we're going to try one crossover, go back to those four bounce steps, and then add a crossover as long as we made it until we get to the four by four protocol. Yep, yeah? this is how it works. Okay team, so we're going to put the timer on, 30 seconds of work, 12 seconds of rest in between each set. We're going to go for four bounce steps and one crossover for the first 30 seconds. All right, here we go. Only one crossover for this one. Two, one, here we go. One, two, three, four, cross. Two, three, four, cross. Cross. Two, three, four, cross. Cross. Four, cross. 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 Okay, so now we're gonna try two crosses for every four bounces. Whew, good thing we pulled, put uh, 12 seconds of rest on there. Here we go, four by two. One, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, one, Two, three, four, one, two, 
One, two. One, two. One, two. And break. Whew. Okay, guys. So you guessed it. Now we're going to go up to three. If you're stuck at two, stay at two until you can master it, then move up to three. For those of you that can, let's do it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three. Three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One. Whoop, whoop. I count myself. That'll happen to you sometimes, okay? Just get right back into it as soon as you can. One, two. One, two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. Three, four. Woo. Okay, guys, here's the holy grail. The four by four. Four bounces to four crossovers. If you're not quite at four, that's fine. Stick with the two, stick with the three. Work it till you get it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, whoop. One, two, three, four. 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 Woo, okay. That brings us to the halfway point. Now we're gonna go back to the start. Four bounces and one crossover. Repeat, repeat, repeat until it's perfect. Here we go. Let's go. One, three, four, one. Two. Three. Two. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. jumping, you're always going to hit the rope, jump on it, or do something silly. It's inevitable. Let's go for twos. Here we go. Two, three, four. One, two. 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 Start again. Two, three, four. One, two. One, Two, three, four, one, two, one, two. Woo! All right. You know we're going on to number threes. Three crossovers, four bounces. Hey guys, no matter how long you practice, it's still effective. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Three, one, two. Whoa, whoa. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two. Woo. All right, here we go. Last round. <sighs> it's really good to go. It's incredibly effective, no matter how many you can jump in rope. So we're going four by four, guys. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah. Uh, one. Happens. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, one, woo. And there you have it, guys. So, that protocol training method will definitely help you acquire a nice quick crossover and definitely up your cardio capacity. So don't be discouraged. There's gonna be a lot of times you're gonna smack yourself with the rope, or you're gonna step on the rope, or you're gonna drop the handle. Don't get too frustrated, because success comes with diligence and commitment. Keep on with the protocol, guys. Till the next video, I hope you're jumping well and you stay healthy, friends.